morning. This is Mitzi with Mitz Adventures. I just woke up about, oh, an hour ago. Heated up, made me some coffee. With my, uh, I don't know if I've ever shown you. I think I have. This is how I make my coffee. I uh, have one of these things that you can buy at the store, you know. And then I put a filter in it. I heat up the, oh, I put coffee in the filter. And then I heat up the water and pour it in here. And then it fills this up and I pour, take this out and pour it in. Just keep doing that until I fill up my cup. And I had one of these cups still, so I went ahead and just put it in a, a coffee cup. I do have, uh, you know, the plastic coffee mugs, but this is just as easy if I have it before I throw it out. I use it more than once. I get these once in a while because uh, once in a while I'll buy a breakfast meal, which comes with coffee. So I have little, usually they're smaller than that, this size. I made oatmeal this morning and made it in this. So it had two purposes too, so that's what's left of my apple whatever oatmeal. I had had that in my <laughs> drawers for probably... Eight months. I don't even know where it came from because I don't like really, especially the apple. I don't especially like the apple oatmeal. Apples and cinnamon. But uh, I like the, just a little more regular. But, you know, if that's what was here, and I haven't found my uh, plain oatmeals yet, oatmeal. So that's what I had. So I got to use the cup twice. Don't have to wash it because it's something I was going to throw away anyway. So now I can just pitch it. Anything I can do where I don't have to wash it is a good thing. And I still have some hot water left over that I'm going to use as soon as it cools off just a little bit more to wash myself. And I have a full thing of coffee. This was from Casey's. I must have broke down and gone and bought some coffee there one day. But now that I have my setup, I don't buy coffee anymore. I make it. I love making my own coffee. I love having my own kitchen. It's not much, but it's mine. I had to show you what I've done, too. I did do something a little bit different. Um, let's see here. I'll show you what I did. My cool editing skills here. <laughs> okay. I made use of my uh, shoe thing that, that I forget even who gave it to me. I think Lamont might have. I can't remember. And I cut it off. Let's see. One, two, three. After the third thing, I cut it off. So I have two left over that I may figure out what to do with. I may do something else with them. But I keep, uh, I'm keep i keeping stuff in there that I'm using to cook. And there's my makeup bag so I can always find it. Not that I ever use it. <laughs> okay. And this is like ketchup and pepper and stuff. There's my Welch's grape jelly which has been upside down now for two days and still hasn't gone to the top. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I have to get a long knife, I guess. And uh, when I went to... Um, when I went to the store to get syrup, they didn't have syrup. So, oh, I ended up getting... Molasses. Anybody like molasses? When I was a kid... When I was a kid, it reminds me of when I was a kid, even though it's not Briar Rabbit. The kind of grandma always had was Briar Rabbit molasses. Sargon molasses. Sorry. My hand got in the way again. Yeah, Briar Rabbit Sargon molasses. Uh, anytime we got sick, we'd get a spoonful of it. So that was her castor oil, I guess. But it tasted much better, from what I've heard, than castor oil. And I don't know if it did any good at all, but it was fun to, uh, a fun little break from 
being sick, we got a spoonful of sweetness. And I still like it. And it's very strong, I know. But it's better than nothing. So next time I make pancakes, I, I'm going to have molasses on it. I, I was thinking about maybe making some of my own syrup, which is easy to do. When I was a kid, my favorite syrup was the uh, Cairo Light, which was like see-through. It was like um, clear. Um, they had l the, the see-through, the light. Well, not it's not even called light. I don't remember what it was called, actually. But it was uh, no color in it at all. And it was Cairo syrup. And then they had the light brown and they had the dark brown. And uh, I liked the, the see-through one. And all, the only way you, all you have to do to make it is water and sugar. Water and sugar and just cook it and cook it until it gets a little thick from the sugar dissolves. And it, I don't know, it just turns into syrup. So I may make some of that and mix it with the molasses to, to make the molasses less strong. There's an idea. Uh, is this interesting to you guys? I just don't know. I don't know. I'm having existential second thoughts <laughs> about the importance of my my videos. <laughs> God, I wish I could be traveling and showing you stuff. <sighs> well, it's coming. It's a coming. Okay. So, I'm going to wake up. Oh, Yesterday, I got a call from Brian, my uh, former room, uh, uh, you know, when, where I lived in the basement. And uh, he said, my check came. So, I went scooting over there, and uh, it was from the U.S. Treasury. And uh, for some reason, the first thing I looked at it, when I opened it, was down at the signature. And I thought, oh, Trump didn't sign it because everybody was complaining that he signed it. And I thought it was kind of stupid too, but I don't care as long as it cashes. I don't care who signs it. Pinocchio can sign it. Alfred E. Newman, I don't care. <laughs> so I looked, and it wasn't his signature, and I thought, that's weird. And then I looked at the amount, <clears throat> and it was $181 from the U.S. Treasury. And I thought, what the hell? <laughs> Did they take out everything I owe them? <laughs> Or what, you know, and I, and I own more than that, actually, because the student loans, that interest is really kicking in. Anyway, so I read the little thing, and evidently it's from one of my students. Uh, they have a thing, they had sent me a letter and told me they weren't going to take, because I, I think I mentioned this before, I know I'm kind of all over the place right now, but I think I had mentioned before that uh, uh, I get a thousand dollars a month. Be it's supposed to be twelve hundred and something, but they take out for student loans that I owe, and there's just only up to a certain percentage they can take out. So they take out, I don't know, I guess a hundred and eighty-one dollars, uh, and but when I got my um, check my uh, social security check last time it was on it i never finished explaining did i anyway i got a letter saying that they weren't going to take out for the student loan that i owe during the cor coronavirus thing i think they were going to do it until september in the letter it said and uh, so it was added to my social security check so i don't know why i got a separate check now I'm not sure, <laughs> unless maybe they're not going to add it to my Social Security check, which comes in about two more weeks, a little less than two weeks. So, I don't know. But anyway, it was a check refunding me <laughs> on something I hadn't paid in the first place. I just don't get it. Um, $181, but I still haven't gotten my Social my stimulus check yet still waiting for that but i uh, i spoke to one person who's on uh, social security also and they said that uh, they were told if you have a bank account 
you'll get it by the end of April, but I don't have a bank account, and they won't put it in my Direct Express, uh, they won't put it in a debit card, no matter where it comes from. So, uh, if you have a bank account, you get it by the end of April, but if uh, they have to mail you the check, you'll get it by the end of May, or something like that. So, sometime this month, I'll get the stimulus check. Meanwhile, <laughs> I just uh, play it by ear, you know. Um, I have everything I need for now, except for tools, uh, to fix my uh, vehicle. But um, if nothing else, if I don't get it in the next two weeks, when I get my Social Security check, I'm going to order the tools I need. Because it's stuff that I wanted to have with me in my traveling anyway that I hadn't gotten yet. That I want to have with me. Um, so, uh, if nothing else, I'll, I'll get the tools when I get my Social Security check. Because I've already gotten the starter. I've already gotten the plugs and wires. So, I mean, I don't really have to buy any big parts. Of course, I'm probably going to end up having to buy a tire or two. I don't know. But that comes next later. You know, I'll check that out after I get my stimulus check. Um, maybe some of that money will go towards that, because I do need to check my spare tire. Like Brian has told me several times that it's probably flat. Because he said, I'm using the spare tire. One of my, he can tell by the wheels or something, uh, that I'm using the spare tire. So the, uh, I don't know, I, I just don't know. But I'm going to have all the tires checked make sure, including the spare, make sure they're all in good shape before I start traveling, because that's the least, last thing I want is a flat tire. Um, the other thing I'm thinking I need to do, uh, right now the spare tire is under the van, and uh, the van came with this thing. Oh, excuse me. This thing, um, which I have, I'm supposed to uh, stick in a hole in the carpeting on the inside, and then wind it, and it drops the tire down to get to the spare. I'd much rather have it like Bertha had on the back. Just hold it on the back. I don't care if it blocks some of my visions. If I want a good view, I'll open the back doors. You know, but I think that it, especially once I start traveling, if I'm boondocking over rocky roads and stuff, wouldn't that give me more clearance underneath if I don't keep my spare tire underneath? Somebody answer that question for me. I'm sure Lamont or someone can give me a good answer to that. So it just makes more sense to me to have the spare tire hanging on the back of the on the back of the van, don't you think? I don't know. Okay. We'll see what goes on today, and I'll let you know. I'm going to wait until after the mail comes, because who knows? Maybe I'll get another check. Never know. If I do, I'll let Hello. Okay. Mail came. Uh, nothing in it. So I'm still waiting for the check. But, uh... That's okay. I wanted to add a little thing, too. Um, my post that I did yesterday about putting in a personal Z, that was supposed to be a joke. I, I probably never made it real clear, but I have no desire for male companionship. I mean, I love my friends. I love my male friends. But uh, that was the last chapter of my life. In this chapter of my life, I don't need... I don't need a companionship of a man. <sighs> so that's the second time I tried to be funny on this channel and failed miserably. Everybody took it seriously, I think, from the replies I got. <laughs> so, no, I'm not looking for a boyfriend. I'm not looking... Any kind of male that comes into my life, uh, companion-wise, is going to have uh, pointy ears and... Uh, it's going to be a cat, probably. And even at that, I'd rather have a female cat. So, you know, not likely to happen, fellas, girls, boys.
anybody. Uh, so don't worry about that. And um, that's the end of this video. I love you all. I love you, Patty. And uh, have a wonderful day. I am really happy with the weather right now. It's sunny but windy and cool and uh, haven't gotten really hot in a while now. And it's nice and cold at night. Everything's good. So, everybody take care. Be nice to everybody. Everybody. And uh, don't go too crazy over this virus thing. Oh, my God. I, I won't even get into it right now, but there's some... Uh, I didn't realize how Republican this town is, but me and they're blaming everything on the Democrats. I don't know. It's just crazy. People are acting crazy right now. Okay. Take care, and I will talk to you tomorrow, probably. Bye.